play before the hometown crowd. And we've got it live right here from Atlanta, Georgia. Last game for the Hawks, they picked up the W against the Jams. And a couple guys got hot early, and then, then it became contagious. You could see that everybody kind of pitched in when it came to shooting. Exactly right, Greg. I mean, normally there's a hot shooter. The defense can... Dennis Schroeder comes in for T. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Kaminsky is checked in for Hawes. Myers Leonard comes in for Marvin Williams. Michael Kidd Gilchrist is checked in for Nicholas Batum. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Lee. On the court for Charlotte, we've got Kaminsky. Kemba Walker is out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Myers Leonard. And it's Kidd Gilchrist in at the three. The Hawks shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. And you know, a lot of times, guys, in some of their performances last year, their free throw numbers helped them win games. Walker's shot is off. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Poked away. And a wide open look for Freak. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure. He was going to knock that down. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. Back to Walker. There's the pick. And it's Walker again missing. Hey, they got the shot they wanted off of that pick, but it just doesn't fall. Yeah, it didn't go down, but you'll take that shot every single time, Greg. That's good offense. Shooter kicks to Horford. From 12 feet out, goes right through for bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. And how many extra possessions have they gotten because of that rebounding edge? Well, it's been a bunch, and I think it's made the difference in the game. I mean, they've actually done a great job on the board. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off for them during the run. Here's Lamb. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Splitter is checked in for Atlanta. Now it's in a down to Doris Burke, who was able to talk with head coach Steve Clifford. We talked about the keys to this game, and he singled out Paul Millsap as a player they've simply got to be mindful of. Coach told me he's always been an energy guy, someone you have to locate and box out every possession. But he's developed his offensive game to the point where he's more than just a hustle guy. He's also a scoring threat now, and a guy we can't leave open. They'll be watching him, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you very much. So far on the glass, it hasn't even been close. Yeah, they're taking it to him. It, it feels like they've gotten every loose ball. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Charlotte shooting their first free throws of the game right now. And the first one drops. Taking two shots. And Lamb drops them both. The Hawks leading by 10. There's Freak. Count it. His second make in four attempts. And a huge lead here early to start. Well, you know, right from the tip, there's not anything they haven't done well so far. Lamb passes to Kaminsky. Outside, Walker. Outside, Leonard. Pass to Lamb. Charlotte moving the ball around. Charlotte no good that time either. The Hawks shooting quite well in these early minutes, 55%. Splitter with a screen on Walker. Schroeder kicks to Splitter. Lots of room. It's rebounded by Charlotte. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Guys, it was like there was a lid on the basket in that game. No matter how many plays you make at the defensive end, hard to overcome such a lack of production offensively. Well, you know, the high-quality shots were few and far between for them, guys, and they have nobody to blame but themselves for that. You've got to do a better job of working harder to put up points. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And Lamb kicks to Walker. There's a screen. Shoots off the screen. Lamb, good. 
Lamb's got six. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. Scott with a screen on Walker. One forty-one left to play in the first. Here's Schroeder. Drops in the layup for two. And you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Now here's Walker. He's got eight. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. Shot clock at five. 13 feet away. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Hawks leading by nine. Knocked loose. Leonard with the steal. There's 57 seconds left in the first. No good from Lamb. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. Here's Schroeder. He dishes it to Freak. Out left to the wing. They set the screen. Just five to shoot. And finished off by Scott. And it's like raining buckets right now. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, we've got to be careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet. Uh, but it has been pretty ugly so far. No doubt about that. Hornets trail by 12. And Walker kicks to Leonard. To the paint. Here's Lamb. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Lamb's got yes, eight. Sir. He's having Michael quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Feeds it to Splitter. Now here's Schroeder, guarded by Walker. And it's Schroeder missing. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Hawks lead by 10. What might be better than, than continuing to play the same game you've been playing forever is to take your game to a new level. And, and that's going to take some discipline. I think Kimba has more than enough talent to be able to do that. But that's his challenge moving forward. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And for the Hawks, guys, what stands out to you stats-wise? A, a lot of tough D being played by them so far. It's been the difference maker. Greg, no uncontested shots for the most part. That's why they've had success. So on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter. Spencer Hawes out there with Marvin Williams. Then it's Lee, and there's Kemba Walker, and it's Batum in at the small forward. Walker dishes to Lee. Passes it to Williams. This one for three, and another three for Charlotte. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Freak kicks to Cephalosha. Horford high post, and there's the pass to Corford. To the right side. Now here is Cephalosha. Defense right on him. Four on the shot clock. From beyond the arc, rebound by Williams. Hornets trail by seven. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Lee outside. Here's Walker. Rebound Atlanta. Last time they met was in Charlotte, where they beat the Hornets. Yeah, a really close game between these two in that last matchup. It took a total team effort for them to get the win. It sure did, and they got a lot of scoring from their bench, Greg, and I think that really was the crucial difference. Corver passes to Freak, takes the assist, and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Freak's got seven points. Charlotte's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Corver against Batum. Right side to Walker. Releases from 15. And the shot no good. A bit short. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Cephalosha kicks to Corver. 
three, dishes to Cephalosha. On the wing, shot is off. And Charlotte will come the other way. And it's Lee penetrating. On the wing, Batum. The 18-footer is right on the mark. The Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Kaminsky is checked in for Hawks. Myers Leonard comes in for Williams. Michael Kidd Gilchrist is checked in for Courtney Lee. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Walker. Kicks it to Splinter. The dish to Freak. Back to Splitter. Millsap has the open look. Cans it from downtown. Millsap's got eight points. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Hawks. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also, how about how well they defended the rim, not just blocking shots, but also altering them here in this first half. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. And Lamb kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Outside, Batum. Leonard against Scott. Five to shoot. And Lamb kicks to Kid Gilchrist. He got right to the cup using that screen. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. The feed to Splitter. Fifty-eight seconds left in the first half of basketball. Schroeder with the ball. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Kid Gilchrist. It's three on three on the fast break. Leonard the pass to Kid Gilchrist. Lamb with the ball. He's picked up by Millsap. And here's the fast break. Millsap leading the way. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And here is Lamb. He's got eight. They set the pick. Down low. It's tipped. And stolen by Scott. Now Schroeder. Splitter sets a screen. And Scott has it in the corner. His three-pointers off the mark. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. It's Atlanta running away with it. Okay, Atlanta, let's keep it going. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half so far. Not over the Hawks. Muscala, he's checked in for Millsap. Freak comes in for Kyle Corvin. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for T. Charlotte also making some changes. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Hawes. Myers Leonard comes in for Williams. And Michael Kidd Gilchrist subbed in for Courtney Lee. Freak in at shooting guard. Cephalosha is out there with Muscala. Then there's Horford. So that's the Hawks five. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Jazz really lit up the floor. He had 23 points and added seven rebounds to go with his scoring. It was the kind of game that coaches love because he was a big factor in every play, it seemed. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance. He was at his absolute best in that game. And if he can come anywhere close to another performance like that here tonight, it would be amazing. Yeah, it really would be because you know now the defense is going to be focused squarely on him. They're going to make sure that he doesn't beat him again. And a chance to check out the numbers for Walker. 11th in steals, 18th in scoring, and he's among the top 20 players in three-point field goal percentage. He has been locked and loaded from beyond. And as we've been seeing, I mean, he's a difficult defender to bring the ball up against. Quick feet and quick hands. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Atlanta. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Mike Scott's checked in for Mike Muscala. The Hornets also with a sub. Lamb, he's checked in for Nicholas Batum.
And the second free throw, good. And so here's Charlotte, trailing by 13. Lamb dishes to Kaminsky. He kicks it to Walker. To the paint, got a piece of it. 11 feet away, bounces high off the rim and drops. The Hawks leading by 11. Horford with a screen on Walker. Schroeder kicks to Horford. Fires from 14. Drain for two points. Horford's got seven points here in this quarter. Charlotte has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Walker goes in. Rebound Atlanta. Schroeder's got three rebounds so far in the game. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Pass to Freak. Trying his luck deep. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for champ. Hornets trail by 16. Outside, Walker. Here's the floater. Here's Kaminsky. And it's sent back by Horford. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. You got it. That get plus 10 inside. rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Straight bully ball. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Comes up empty down low. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you got you've got to, to take it back. Sepalosha with it. He's picked up by Lamb. They get a bet. And the rejection by Leonard. They recover it. Schroeder kicks to Freak. No good. Not a friendly rim at all. This trip down. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some That's momentum here, Kevin. Michael That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. This is the Walker. Leonard sets a screen for Walker. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, it. and he's doing it now. Cephalosia kicks to Horford. The Hornets pull it in. Walker's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Lamb. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. That's 10 points for Lamb. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. The kick out to Walker. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to rally and get back into it. And, Greg, it was really their defense just as much as their offense that served as the real catalyst. And I think it allowed them to put that run together. Shooter kicks to Freak. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball move. Pass to Cephalosha. He's looking for Horford and finds him. And our 2K leaderboard up on the screen now. Giving you a look at the small forward position and the players with the most rebounds per game this year. The fourth spot held by Michael Kidd Gilchrist. You know, the work they do on the boards is such a big part of all these players' game. I mean, they play much bigger than the grand majority of small forwards in our league. Yeah, I think they all have that little bit of extra edge to their game that allows them to put up the kind of rebound numbers usually you only see from power forwards. Splitters checked in for Tabo Cephalosha. Outside, Walker. From 12 feet out. And he gets the kind bounce as that one drops in for him. Walker's got 23. I like the way they're working the ball inside because when you do that, you get higher percentage shots and typically good things happen. Hawks passing it around. Scooped up. Horford 
And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Horford's got 11 points in the quarter. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's having. They set the pick. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Millsap comes in for Al Horford. And it's Teagan for Dennis Schroeder. Williams, he's checked in for the Hornets. Feeds it to Scott. He dishes it to Freak. Pass to Millsap. Puts it up from 12. The kick out to Teague. Inside. And Freak gets it to go on the assist by Teague. Teague's got three assists tonight. Outside, Walker. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. Charlotte making some changes. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Hawes. Batum comes in for Williams. And Lee's subbed in for Lamb. On the floor for Charlotte. Lee out there with Kemba Walker. Then there's Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Then there's Batum. And it's Leonard in at the center position. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes it. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that, man. It's, uh, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. Lee outside. On the wing, Batum. Shot clock at six. Leonard kicks to Walker. 17-foot shot on the way. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Walker's got 15 points here in the second half. Here's Freak. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's been a tough go for him. Just an uncontainable game for Freak. He has 14 points. And he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. And Clark, it's no stretch to say the more points he gives them from beyond the arc, the better off they'll be. Charlotte making a switch here. Kaminsky's checked in, and good on the second, so he makes them both. You know, they've really improved at the line from the first half. Things have gotten a lot better. They've gotten there a good number of times, and they've converted a high percentage of them. Walker, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Walker's got 29 in the game. If they think that kind of defense is going to get it done against him, they're mistaken. Splitter passes to Patterson. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Free throw good freak. Kevin, they're shooting around 90% from the free throw line. You and I both know that's very strong, very impressive free throw shooting for this team. And he makes both free throws. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here, aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. He feeds it to Walker. The pass to Lee. Pulls up on the elbow. Atlanta with the rebound. And even though he missed that, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. Exactly. They don't come much better or easier than that. Splitter with the ball. Now guarded by Kaminsky. Freak. Atlanta again missing. Charlotte shooting 40% from the field. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Walker. Leonard with no one around. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got six assists here tonight. Atlanta's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. 130 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Freak, and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Hawks. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing 
to its uh, Clark fullest capabilities. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for him, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And making the right plays when they needed to, closing out this club for the second time this season. This victory pushes their record to 2-0 and with two games left to go against the Hornets. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for Al Horford. You can set a tone with defense, and that's exactly what he did with how he protected the rim. Out to the wing, inside, and Freak throws it down hard. I'm not sure how I like this one. He used the rim to get some true hang time there. Now, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. <laughs> okay, okay I'll that buy was just that. A, I'll buy that for now. A good old fashioned chin check right there. Special thanks to Kia for that sweet Kia slam cam replay. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Kid Gilchrist, great positioning on the putback. Relentless on the glass is what he is, and that tip-in was the result of all the hard work he puts in down low. And Patterson kicks to Muscala. There's the dish to Freak. Right wing. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And it's Lee that time on the assist from Kid Gilchrist. You know, guys, when you push it hard like that on the break, those are the easy buckets that'll be waiting for you. The clock now can just run out for the Hawks. And that one's good. And you can sense the fact that they didn't want to let the fans down here. It's been a fun night to be in the building. Greg, it really has been. I mean, such a lively, vibrant atmosphere. And no doubt, that played a part in the big win. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. They poured it out tonight, Clark. A dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect tonight. of the game, it all went right for them. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Tonight seemed like it was a game that showed so much of what this team is all about and a game that you played very well as a team. And we, we did. You know, um, we had a good team effort. You know, everybody came out with a lot of energy. You know, uh, we attacked first and we came out with the win. Great job, Paul. Terrific win. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hey y'all, Ernie Johnson here along with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome back for the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Al Horford. He had an outstanding third quarter. Whatever they needed in terms of energy and offense, he was the firepower that propelled them during the second half. What are your thoughts, Shaq? Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels, Ernie. Too many levels to talk about. Man, in some game, he's in the background. He doesn't get the chance to be the star of the show. But not tonight. He's the star tonight. Put him on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon, but not soon enough.